we're headed into climate calamity. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released its latest report this week, and the findings are dire. It's being called a code red for humanity. Even though we've had all these warnings, tens of thousands of scientific studies published telling us that we're headed into climate chaos and we're seeing it around us now, the world has not taken enough action. In fact, if anything, actually, we're seeing the trajectory of both emissions and also temperatures increase at the same rate that they've been increasing for the past couple of decades. So right now we are failing. CBS News climate specialist Jeff Baradelli says you may need only look out your window to see the effects of climate change. We're seeing more extremes than I've ever seen in my career this summer. From the fires in California, the Pacific Northwest heat wave, two towns have been wiped off the map by wildfires already this summer and we're just the beginning of fire season. The Pacific Northwest heat wave was the kind of heat wave we didn't even think was possible, yet it happened. So the impossible is becoming not only possible, but probable as we can see. There is just more extreme weather in more places in a shorter period of time than I've ever seen in my career. So we can see it happening all, all over the world right now. This latest IPCC report notes that we have our work cut out for us. We really need to stay below two degrees Celsius of warming. But we have time to stop our temperatures from warming before they reach two degrees. You know, once we get to that two degree-ish area, we start to see these extremes kind of metastasize. Uh, you know, the extremes accelerate and, and, a, and compound extremes, and that's what we're very concerned about. There's overwhelming consensus in the scientific community on how to meet that climate goal. There's only one thing that we can do and that's reduce our burning of fossil fuels and reduce the emissions that go out into the atmosphere. I mean, that's the bottom line. At some point, maybe in a couple to a few decades, we'll have the technology to suck that carbon dioxide back out of the atmosphere. It's called carbon capture, but it's not even close to being ready for prime time. It's not ready for scale. It's gonna take many years to get it ready. So in the meantime, you know, we're gonna get close to that two degrees Celsius mark unless we just stop burning fossil fuels as quickly as possible. If the world doesn't do that, the consequences could be catastrophic. The bottom line is we absolutely have to transition away from fossil fuels because otherwise we're headed towards climate calamity. This is Inside Edition Digital.